Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about aquatic exotics such as your sharks, stingrays, and octopus. Uh, and I have quite an empty tank here. I only have one bamboo shark, a uh, clownfish, and a sea apple. But I've had quite a few stuff in this tank before. So I'm going to start out with bamboo sharks, marbled sharks, and Stingrays, I had a Southern California Stingray. Uh, they're both cousins of each other. Uh, they're part of the phylum Osteichthys, so they're actually sort of similar in care anyways. All right, so most of the time people buy these bamboo sharks from Shark Eggs at your pet store. And I personally don't like the eggs. I don't think they have like a low chance of survival, I think, and you're better off just trying to buy the shark rather than the egg. Um, well, this is sort of a baby because he's a little bit bigger than one. Um, they eat on shrimp, minnows, silver sides, same thing with the stingrays. They're not too much bigger, they're about the same size. And, you know, you need to feed them three times a week. Um, tank size, this is only a 40 gallon, but, uh, if you're gonna raise it up to an adult bamboo shark, you will need a 160 gallon tank minimum. Uh, but for his size right now, it's a good size. Uh, another thing, I don't have any rocks in here because they like to push rocks over and they could possibly hurt themselves. So if you put rocks and stuff in here, you wanna make sure they're heavy enough for the shark not to push or stingray, depending on what we're talking about. And you need to make sure the he won't eat the fish in the tank. For instance, my clownfish is able to survive, but you never know. Um, about the stingrays, if you do get a stingray in your tank, don't worry about debarbing, because uh, they're usually not like aggressive or hostile. You know, they have a bad rep, but they're usually good little guys. And last thing I'm going to talk about that you can keep in aquariums are octopus. <laughs> I had two octopus before. Uh, first one went okay for a while, I had him for about three months, but then after I fed him once, I left the top of the tank open. Or not open, I just didn't close it all the way, and he opened it and hopped out of the tank and suffocated. And the other one didn't go so well, and I had him for about a day, and he swam through the little lines that, the, that go to the filter, and he got cut up. So if you get octopus, <laughs> make sure that they can't get to your uh, filter and make sure the top of your tank is always closed. Uh, another thing is they'll eat everything in your tank. I had quite a few fish in here before, but then I got an octopus. It was all over after that. Um, octopus, you know, same diet. Uh, I don't really feed an octopus as well. I guess I do feed it just as much three times a week. Shrimp, silver sides, silver side the or minnows. Oops, let's get my little clownfish. And I guess that's basically it for our aquatic exotics for saltwater. And thank you very much.